Hey guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. After waiting over a year for this game to come out, South Park The Fractured Butthole is finally here. Now the game has been out for a while, I thought I would give you guys my first impressions of the game. South Park The Fractured Butthole is developed by Ubisoft and is mainly directed by the team behind the South Park TV series. During this video I'll be covering the changes between the first game and my initial reactions to the first hour of gameplay. What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. First, the main story. The Fractured Butthole when takes place straight after the Stick of Truth. The kids of South Park are battling in the streets and it seems like they want to control the stick. Kyle calls for the king and in typical South Park humour, you found taking a dump. And just like the first game, you have the same parents living in the same house. This indicates that you are the same new kid from before. And just like it did in the previous game, I explored and gathered items. Exploring is key if you want to gain the best items or consumables to help you succeed during battle or if you want to collect achievements. Anywho, before the main story kicks off, you encounter your first battle. This gives you a taste of what combat is going to be like throughout the game. I will cover combat later in this video. Once the battle is over, you must make a dramatic jump into Cartman's garden, known as Koopa Keep from the first game. Here, the characters want to know where the Stick of Truth has gone. Suddenly, they're interrupted by who was formerly known as the Wizard, and is now the Coon. The Coon is from the future, and in his time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. The Coon wants to assemble a team together and stop the crime syndicate, and retrieve the $100 reward to make their superhero franchise more popular. The Coon alert rings, and you have to make your way to Cartman's basement, also known as the Coon Lair. The Coon alert! Come on, Coon friends! Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair! In the future, Coon and friends assemble! Sorry guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Character Customization Just like the Stick of Truth, you create your character at the start. This isn't too important as you can change the way you look throughout the game. In terms of what you can customise, it's pretty basic. This ranges from your hairstyle to your clothes and even makeup. The humour gets a little dark when it touches on race. It implies the darker your skin, the harder the game is. However, Cartman quickly explains. Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat, just every other aspect of your whole life. According to Wikipedia, race actually affects this. Just like I mentioned before, and just like the previous game, you can always change the way you appear in-game. Once you meet the coon in the basement, and finally find the right seat to sit in... You get a chance to pick your superhero persona, and start to fill out your character sheet on Instagram. Sound familiar? Do you have a Instagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Instagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Okay, unbelievable. Let's see. At this so moment, you can only on pick one of three classes. This yeah, included Speedster, Speedster, Brutalist, and Blaster. Blaster. I'll let Cartman explain what their abilities are. Speedster. A Speedster. Super fast and just that's about it. So yeah, a Brutalist, like the thing, or a really pissed off Batman. As my favourite superhero is the Flash, I had to play as the Speedster. Choosing this class is the first time your appearance will change. Don't worry if you don't like the first class you pick, as later on in the game, you can combine your class with another. Items of clothing can be found all over South Park, also by simply completing the quests. Doing so, you will find different costumes, hairstyles and much more. You can even sign up to the Ubisoft Club. Doing this will mean that when you do certain tasks, you can purchase exclusive items such as the Assassin's Creed costume and a blue looking Iron Man costume. Costumes don't affect your abilities or stats. Instead, artifacts that you craft or find affect your stats. As you level up, you can unlock multiple artifact slots, meaning you can add multiple artifacts, making you more powerful. 
combat. Like typical role-playing games, you will need to fight enemies around the map to level up. In the first few minutes of gameplay, you will encounter your first combat session. This takes place just outside Cartman's house and teaches you the basic moves. Unlike before where your characters stand still and you take turns to attack your opponent, you now get a little bit of movement. Combat is still a turn-based mechanic but feels a little bit like chess. Each character, including yourself, will have to move around the grid to successfully attack one another. Certain attacks will place yourself or other characters across the grid. You can use these moves to your advantage. If you throw an opponent into another character or object, you will gain a combo or extra damage to other enemies. Certain attacks will show red diagonal lines across the grid. This means that any characters in this box, when the opposite player uses that move, will gain damage. So make sure that you're out of the way or try and force the opponent into the grid so they get attacked as well. Once the match is over, you automatically gather goods left behind. There doesn't seem to be a clear indication on how to block attacks, however most attacks on you will have a quick time event. Pushing this button in time will slowly fill up the meter. The meter enables you to use your ultimate ability. You can also increase the meter after each attack. The better the attack, the quicker the meter feels. Your ultimate ability gives critical damage or skills to other players. Use it to your advantage. Gameplay. After playing the game for around an hour, South Park the Fractured Butthole has a lot to offer. The comedy is consistent throughout, with references to superhero films. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. And comics. To character conversations. I need a Jimmy from my Peter, Billy. Can you get me a condom? NPC you interactions. Stay out of the street, damn kids! Exploring and even finding out your backstory. Here's a little sneak peek of mine. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. A lot has changed for the better. Some big things like your phone, acting as a side menu, things like customization, Instagram, crafting, map, and even phone settings. Your map is going to be key for finding quests and where you are in the area. You don't need to go to a separate menu anymore. Just hit a button and it appears above you. Speaking of the map, nothing has really changed. Everything is still in the same place. Slow news day. They've now added Guess new homes to explore me. and a few locations have changed, but nothing much. Overall, I'm looking forward to smashing in several hours into this game. I love the first game and I know I love this one even more. So far, I'd give this game 10 out of 10. The comedy, the art style and even the gameplay truly matches the conventions of the TV show. It really makes you feel like you're playing a really long episode. If you love South Park, you'll love this game. Thank you guys ever so much for watching my video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye my friends, goodbye! You did? Lemmy Wings journeyed a distance far and fast To find his way out of a gay man's ass The road ahead is filled with danger and fright But push onward Lemmy Wings with all of your might